pleased that Rebecca Brooks has finally accepted responsibility for what happened on her watch as editor of the News of the World, the hacking of the phones of Millie Dowler, for example. But as I said when I called for her resignation 10 days ago, this isn't just about one individual, it's about the culture of an organisation. And when Rupert Murdoch says that News International have handled these allegations extremely well, I think people up and down the country will be thinking that really beggars belief. He should be apologising to the victims of phone hacking. And I hope when he goes before the select committee next Tuesday, he starts taking some responsibility for what happened in his organisation. I mean, we heard last night as well about the IPCC potentially investigating their expert Stevenson. Um, the fallout there could be potentially, well, massive, couldn't it? I think it's right to say that Sir Paul Stevenson has questions he needs to answer about his relationship with Neil Wallace, uh, the former deputy editor of the News of the World, and about the judgments he made in employing Mr Wallace while there were investigations or at least questions about Mr Wallace. And I'm sure Sir Paul will want to answer those questions in the next few days and indeed when he appears in the House of Commons next week. News International, of course, are carrying out their own investigation of what went on in the News of the World. Is that too little too late now, or is that right to happen as well? I think the most important thing is that the police get to the bottom of what happened, but also that News International become an organisation that starts looking like it understands the gravity of what happened and the scale of the wrongdoing. I think people in Britain have been shocked by the innocent victims who have been caught up in this crisis, and I, don't have, I haven't seen that recognition from Rupert Murdoch or his organisation. And as I say, the first thing he should do is apologise to all of those innocent victims. And just finally, Mr. Ains, the Rebecca Brooks issue. Should she have fallen on her sword a long time ago? Should this resignation have happened weeks ago? I think she should have gone straight away. That would have been the right thing to do. I'm afraid, again, it looks like it was an organisation that hasn't really woken up or understood what happened and, and, and the anger people feel. And you know, this is an organisation that sells newspapers and says it claims to be speaking on behalf of the British people. I don't think most people in this country will think that's what they've been doing during the last 10 days.